Greetings. This is Earthman. Origami's Living Soil. I'm reporting to you on Easter Sunday, or I like to call Resurrection Sunday. And um, just doing a, a video. I haven't done videos a lot lately, but I'm going to start doing a lot of videos this summer. Uh, how to make IMOs and how to make your own lactic bacteria. And I'm going to uh, do it a little more carefully and more instructively so you guys can learn what this video is about. And I just, you know, want you to know that um, that anything that, you know, I know that I'm going to pass on to you and anything I know God passes on to me. It's not, I don't take credit for anything that I uh, share with you guys. Uh, I give God the credit Jesus the credit so uh, we're gonna talk about air pruning um, what I did is I took a cup uh, I think uh, 16 ounce or eight, uh, 12 ounce 8 ounce whatever one you want I, like 16 ounce eight, uh, 12 ounce are good and I cut out the bottom okay I like this one and I left the bottom and after I cut out the bottom I put uh, I put on the bottom a coffee filter and then I taped it and um, I did all my plants like that except for two I got two so uh, that um, didn't do that uh, I didn't do it with the coffee filter I left the bottom salad like you know like a normal uh, person would do oops this one lean a little bit but you know, straighten out this. Um, and uh, so yeah, these plants, the uh, sunflowers, were starting to get a little big, and uh, I didn't want the roots to get choked up. I want uh, as least stress as possible for these roots, because that would uh, mean big sunflowers. And so, uh, this is what it looks like uh, when I took them out of these things right over here, the little planters. Uh, the tap root is just starting to go down, and. Um, uh, I wanted to get it out of those containers before the, the tap root starts to uh, wind itself back up again into a root ball instead of a root mass. So what happened, what's going to happen here, as these um, plants get bigger, uh, the roots are going to go down, the tap root, and the tap root is going to hit the bottom uh, where the filter is. And as you know, uh, I have these on a rack. Uh, uh, they're not flat on the table uh, they're on a rack that way when that tap root comes out um, it'll hit the air and it'll break off and what that'll do is signal to the plant to send down more root taps uh, or tap roots and um, and uh, and when they get down um, they'll break off and they'll do the same and, and then just uh, lots of different uh, uh, tap roots will come down. Instead of one long tap root that will go down, uh, down, you know, go, you know, let's pretend you know, like this, uh, going down. The tap root will go down. It'll hit the bottom, and then you know it's gonna go up. It's gonna go up, and it's gonna wrap itself in a circle around the cup. And I'm sure you've seen this when you pulled your plants out of cups like this or planters. Um, and that's not healthy for a plant to have its taproot do that. A taproot should just keep going down and down as deep as possible. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, if you air prune it in the beginning, uh, what will happen is that main taproot will it'll break off once again. And then it'll send down more taproots and then they'll break off and then so on and so forth. Instead of having one root ball with one main tap root that's wrapped around the cup, you're going to have a, t a ton of tap roots that are going to each have um, secondary and, and, and uh, little, you know smaller roots coming out of that. And a bigger root mass you got, everybody knows, if you got a big root mass, not root ball, but root mass of um, unstressed roots, uh, they're going to absorb more nutrients and more moisture. And these plants will be bigger than the ones um, in the cups without the bottom uh, cut. So, uh, just so, uh, so not a hard thing to do. Cut out the bottoms, put a coffee filter on them, tape it up, and then you know go ahead and put your plant in there and do your own experiment. Do a couple without the bottom, 
and uh, just um, uh, we're going to monitor these plants' growth uh, throughout the couple in the next couple weeks and months, maybe, and see what happens and see if there is a difference between doing this by air pruning or not air pruning. So that's it. May God bless you guys, and I um, I got a lot more videos coming. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free. And I uh, just want to mention, I got new product, Grovana. Um, I discontinued it, and I'm doing some other products. Uh, one is called Grovana Old School. And then I got uh, two products called Root Love and then Root Love Science. And so I'll have uh, my website up and running and the product ready in no time for you guys to take an opportunity to try. So may God bless you. And remember, air pruning, um, in my opinion, is the best way to go. May God bless you.